Hello everyone and welcome back to another video. In this one we are going to discuss about regression coefficient and its properties. Also we will discuss in detail about correlation coefficient in the process. So let's get started. Now first thing to note and understand is what is actually regression. So regression is simply something that explains the relationship between independent and dependent variable. Now, to simply understand what is independent variable and dependent variable, let us consider an example. So let's say you want to find out what is the relationship between savings and expenditure. We certainly know that they are directly proportional. That is, if We certainly know that they are inversely proportional. If your expenditure is high, then your savings will always be low. Right? Now, here if you see, your savings are dependent on your expenses or your expenditure. And your expenses are nearly independent of anything in this particular case. So, we can say that your y is savings and your x is your expenditure. So, savings that is y is linearly dependent on expenditure. So, this is how we define the relationship y is equal to ax plus b. This is linear equation in one variable. Since we are only considering the effect of expenditure on savings, only one variable we are considering as independent variable. Hence, this is linear equation in one variable. In this case, your A is known as the slope, right? And your B is known as the intercept value. So if we try to linearly formulate it or plot it on a graph, so we can say we have this kind of relationship. So we can say we have this kind of relationship. So this is your A which is the slope and this is your B which is the intercept. Now, so in order to form any regression equation, we certainly need to have a regression coefficient. So, let us understand how we can formulate the equation of regression of y on x. So, equation of y on x is defined as y minus y bar is equal to byx which is the regression coefficient of y on x into x minus x bar. So here y bar is mean of all y values and x bar is mean of all x values. And the regression coefficient is defined as r which is your correlation coefficient into sigma y upon sigma x. This is your standard deviation of y upon standard deviation of x. Similarly, we can also define the regression equation of x on y. So, which is defined as x minus y bar x minus x bar equal to bxy which is the regression coefficient of x on y into y minus y bar. So bxy is actually nothing but correlation coefficient r into sigma x upon sigma y. 
So all the variables have same meaning as I explained right here. Now before we move forward, let us understand what is a correlation coefficient and what are its main properties. So this is a very important topic. You might get questions. You might get at least four to five questions from this topic itself. So please be. So properties of correlation coefficient. Now, R is your correlation coefficient and it is defined as covariance of x, y divided by under root of variance of x into variance of y. Or you can say covariance of x and y divided by standard deviation of x into standard deviation of y. Now, the value of correlation coefficient always lies between minus 1 to 1. The next important property is that it is independent, very important and a direct question may be asked that it is independent of change of scale as well as origin. So in the earlier video, we discussed that how variance is independent of change of origin right now since we are using standard deviation and covariance we certainly know that they are independent of change of origin and if you do the right calculations you will find that the change of scale say hk it gets divided by h into k and hence it all cancels out therefore your regret Therefore, your correlation coefficient is independent of both scale as well. A very important property again is that square of the correlation coefficient R is equal to bxy into byx which is the regression coefficient of x on y into regression coefficient of y on x. So if we write that out we know that this and this gets cancelled out and hence we get r square. So a direct question can be asked that correlation coefficient is geometric mean of regression coefficient very very important next the sign of correlation coefficient regression coefficients and covariance are always the same this is very important again another property is that if the correlation coefficient is zero then we say that there is no relationship between x and y and the graph will be in a way that they are perpendicular to each other the line of regressions they are perpendicular to each other on the other hand if r is equal to plus minus one it says that there is then the regression equations they coincide with each other next up we are going to discuss some very important properties of regression coefficient the first property says that if b y x is greater than one then in such a case b x y will be less than or vice versa so if we say that b x y is greater than 1 then we will have b y x less than 1. next up we have two regression lines they always always intersect at a point which is x bar comma y bar 
so if you are given two regression lines and you need to find out their point of intersection so that point of intersection will always be x bar comma y bar where x bar is as i told you before the mean of the x axis and this is the mean of the y axis talking about the effect of change of scale and origin on the regression coefficient please do this very carefully because it is a little confusing so let's say we define u as h of x plus y so h is the change of scale in x and this is the change in origin and for y for v value the change of scale is k and change of origin is b so our new regression coefficient which is b v u it is defined as change of scale of v upon change of scale of u into b y x right so what is the change of scale of v which is k as you see change in the scale is k for v the change in the scale is k and change in the scale of u so what is the change in the scale of u it is h so k upon h into b y x so how are we writing y x here because we have v and u so v was corresponding to y and u was corresponding to x so we put it as b y x now let us see how we will define b u v so just think of it b u v it should be change of scale of u right scale of u upon scale of v into v x y because u corresponds to x and v corresponds to y as shown so this is a very important concept on which you might get numerical questions so you should definitely understand this particular concept of change of scale of origin and scale on the regression coefficient that is all for this video thank you for watching